Okay, so today uh, I need to pretty much do some leftover items for render targets. I need to uh, deal with the case where the, both the image, the render, the render image and the swap chain image are like sample count of one so that they're basically exactly the same. And then I need to get, I need to uh, update the XR to use rendered targets as well. So first of all, I'm basically already here, aren't I? Yes, I am. So result region, pipeline barrier, okay. I still need to do this. I need to do like if Hmm. Okay, something something I'm going to do is I'm going to update render target to accept. See, it does accept. Uh, if I can find it, samples as part of the render target spec, but it doesn't really need that, does it? Realistically, it might be better to actually just have it as part of like just part of this. So that will have the K sample count flags. It'll be separate. So something like that. Images rotate through. Okay, samples and render target here. So going back to render target here. It's specifications. It's going to be const. So count flags. It's that instead of being part of that. Go to this. moment I'm just kind of doing render targets that just all use the same render or a sample count mm -hmm. so I'm creating new images the target spec that every time we have something down here where we need to extend we need to p render and pass that through okay it should also mean that for this render target I can also retrieve it so render target image
Okay. this and that okay If um, getting render target samples, not equal because one bit, then we do the resolve. Otherwise, we just do like a copy VK and copy image. Source image, it's the same. This and that, this and that. All the way to, was it region count? And VK image copy. Rather than do like a like a run where we just like run the sampler to copy the image, I'm just literally just going to copy the image. So I need a VK which is what does it look like? So it's very much the same thing. It basically is the exact same thing. Come on, playing. See what we got going on up here, right? Data size. Okay, there are, right, we're still using MSAA, that's fine. Okay, so now I wanna do supported samples equals sample count one. Okay. Cool. Oh, is it actually running though? It is. Got 
the same rate. Oh, you, I know why it's so slow. It's because I'm running validation at the same time. But it does look like it's working correctly. So I just kind of need to deal with these. Maybe. I don't, I'm not sure what this buffer is about. Oh, these things, first of all. And then those down there. So let's get this. And this. Stage that. Updated sample handling. Independently. Okay, what do I have? Hang on, what's different? Just this stuff again. Screen render target to the to the what? To the swap chain 
image. Okay, that's two little things kind of done. Under target. Mm -hmm. Now I'm sure there's going to be another. Like I have ideas for kind of integrating swap chain images. Or surfaces into render targets so it's not just an off-screen thing I can kind of better integrate together but I don't quite have it yet so it's just gonna to have to roll it in my mind but like um, hold on let me add it to the list of to do's See to merge swap chain images into render target. Add that. Okay. Next, what I was going to do, XR, OK, VR, XR. Um, I'm going to pause this for a couple minutes while I get the VR headset and plug it all in. So, BRB. OK, so a bit of a strange thing, trying to check that it does, uh, that it works on normal, like just by running the application, shows it's not actually running XR, even though I've enabled it here so i got something else to deal with with the vulcan or xr which i guess i gotta figure out right now so let's figure it out so we enable it we're going to do this i'm going to see what happens hmm? got an error no Okay, let's roll on down to here. So we're going to go through the Vulcan stuff. Then we're here. Okay. Uh, what's the first thing that happens? Da, 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 da. Load run times, unknown error. Hold on. Do I just not have... OpenXR is installed, yeah. And I have Steam. Like, I have it running. Steam VR running right now. So, someone want to tell me what's going on? Okay, we got that. New runtime, fantastic. We're doing validate. We don't have, we're not doing validation. We are doing debug logging, okay. And it failed. Runtime unavailable. Okay. So I just can't even create an instance or what? What's going on? I can't even create an instance. Maybe, uh, maybe I just have too many. Just turn this off for the moment so for a faster speed up uh, startup. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, we're here. Mm -hmm. There's no application name. That's... Oh, it, it will be copied in here in a moment. Okay. No layers, but there's extensions, which are the XR Vulcan enable and the debug utils. Okay. And that's going to return this. Okay. Not good. OpenXR 10.1.0.17 is installed. SteamVR 1.18.7. Um, do I need like a loader? But uh, Steam VR works fine. Hmm. Install XR loader. Git. Well, no, that's ten sixteen. That's even older. Okay. Well, to the Arch Wiki. Seventeen. Virtual reality. Arch wiki. Okay. This has gotten basically nothing on how to actually use the stuff. All right. Not, not very useful. All right, I guess I gotta keep troubleshooting it first. For, you know, unknown error, fail to load a runtime. Thanks. All right, figured it out. There was no OpenXR runtime set to default. Under the Steam settings for OpenXR runtime, this was set to none. There was a button to set uh, Steam VR for it. Hit that, Steam VR, and now it seems to work. So now, if I was to move this over. So, yeah. Okay, uh, and then I was to start this got that and if I can open up the VR view again okay there we go if I click on this then I should be able to move it closer okay obviously depth buff uh, depth stuff isn't on there and it's from the opposite side from where the camera is very strange but uh, okay there we are yeah, Jaggies are super obvious on this. This would really benefit from anti-aliasing. Especially since 
11 milliseconds prefer oh because it's locked to 90 millisecond uh 90 frames a second on the headset right and that put that back over okay time to proceed again okay xr is back on the menu boys uh session okay initialization deinitialization we've got a Editor mode stuff XR. Here we are. So I need some render targets for these. So we've got XR support, then we need XR views, V so XR VK session view. What is this? That is not it. Okay, that's not on my thing, so standard vector. Okay, we've got a new thing now. Uh, da -da -da -da. Frame begin info. When do we generate the view stuff? It's like up here somewhere. Here, close. Hmm. Okay, I create these, I'm gonna keep them basically forever. So I can probably do the same thing here. I'll screen in targets. So we're gonna do View dot image views because they're multiple, aren't there? Okay, how, how often is this happening? XR views for each view. Of course, each view has multiple swap chain images. That makes sense. Okay, off screen. Put it here, not here. View, view, config, recommended, yeah. So. Code control graphics pk create render target. It starts with the session, so graphics session. We have the, the that and the pass pool. Render target specification. We have a count of mm, one for the moment. Samples, export samples. You ready to target that? And then I need basically wherever I am specifying these.
right about here. Data and size, great. So this is the swap chain format that we choose to use. Swap chain format zero. Okay, it's just the, it's just the format itself. We'll just do the one for the moment. Okay, great. So we create it. We say, hey, you know. And program tuple. Otherwise, we carry on for graphics. Um, under target extent. And under target is width and height. Oh, beautiful format. That will work even better. Okay. We got that. Got that. that and that and then what we want to do is at runtime here on XR views if okay, we actually kind of have them. so we got to do it the other the opposite way Say hey, you know, uh, view dot. Uh, sorry, not view dot that. We wanted to XR off screen render targets dot in place back. Render target. Okay. There, so this should be the exact same. stuff we move on down to where XR rendering occurs and what we're saying is we got that we're wait frame info da, 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 da. we're beginning the frame okay this means we got to go through that 
program. If that fails, okay. Acquire the next render target. Okay, then we're moving on down to this stuff, moving around, swap chain image acquire info. Command buffer begins. Then we're doing this stuff. Where render pass begin info, okay. Do I know what render pass I'm starting with? targets by okay it equals that that render target consult chain extent yeah these these XR render pass, where do I get that? I get it from here, which I get from, oh, here, hmm. Not really great. Where do I create this? Hmm. Cast DK sample count flag bits. And we're going to also want to turn uh, validation back on for sure for uh, Vulcan. Actually, move that to here. That, that viewport scissor. Text. 
So it's not max supporting. It's going to be like pro graphics. Okay, get under target samples. Copy that. It's going to be that here. The end of render pass, then we're going to have to do the blip or resolve here. Okay. This should be just much similar to this. We have a sub resource range, image memory barrier. We'll have that, uh, change it back to that. Be a source, okay. Okay, be like this. This aspect color, memory barrier, it's image, oh, sorry, which image is this? On the swap chain, yeah, yeah, so. Images Which one am I operating on? Do I know? I must know. So I would have had the frame buffer here. Swap chain index. And the changes here go all the way down to here. A bit further. Okay, here. How do we find a new index? Okay, so I already know that this is going to become from off screen buffer, undefined as transfer source off screen. That's perfect. So I just want it to be change it from a swap image is being changed from undefined to destination, okay. And then afterwards, it's going from destination to transfer source. Again, and the image is going to be this. that on the end and then we end the command buffer and that should be in the correct state all right let's see how bad it is hmm? If we get to this point, yeah. Yeah, we've started a new thing. We're here. Render target exists. So both the render targets f exist. Great.
begin in the command buffer, target, begin in the command, in the pass. Oh, we got a bit of a problem with that one. Must be compatible with the member of the VK frame buffer create info. Okay. They have different samples. Render pass I passed. And this. Okay. And the frame buffer I created it with was what? When I created these, max supported samples with this format. The view dot format. Maybe I just just Okay, we're here. You're not gonna give me anything, are you? We are really thinking hard about it. Okay, uh, view.format is RGBA sRGB, okay. This swap chain format, zero is 43, which I'm presuming GBA eight S number forty three. Yeah, same thing. Okay. So that's the render pass I'm 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 rolling with. Just taking that. That's the extent. Okay. Then we apparently can't stop anything at all. It's all okay. Can we come on down here, over here. We're acquiring the next render target image. Great. Here, great. Okay. That'll be it. So that, and then the other pipeline retrieval is that one. So that, get rid of another roadblock. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Okay, great, let's keep going. We got a bunch of other items, so that's not great. Um, still in the black void, so not very useful. Mm 
Okay, what we got? General, okay, we got... Submitted command buffer expects this image to be in layout color attachment optimal. Instead, current layout is BK transfer source optimal. Okay. Attachment zero is not compatible with zero band different samples. Okay. All right, well, we'll just have to kind of see where exactly this is happening. Go to the bind pipeline. Actually, that was a bad idea. I probably skipped a couple draws. Okay. And we ended the render pass, we're just fine. Target, okay. The image, the image. That, 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 okay. Okay, we're resolving the image. Graphics off screen render target. That's kind of render target. That image. This should also be the other image. I was just operating on the wrong images. Okay, okay, I've got like half a blue screen, I'm sorry. Or is that just, uh, no, I've literally only got like half a blue screen, half, the what? <sighs> Does resolve, not good. Like all I've got is that. that, that's the entire XR view. It's just that continuously. You can even see like, yeah. So not great, not great, not great. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I still want to display the VR view, just not quite right now. Okay. So it's currently on the this current render target. The, oh, oh yeah, yeah, these are the wrong. One day I'll stop making really obvious mistakes, I swear. Okay, what were some of the uh, things that were, it was going on about? Uh, A 
not sure if this is actually to do with the XR stuff I'm doing or not. They have different That's that render pass, great. Get pool resources, great. Like this is the problem. There's a lot of stuff in this one file. It's a bit opaque, a bit difficult to use, and it's getting worse. I really need to start like split. I like I've said past couple of episodes or sessions. I'm sure is <clears throat> I just really need to start split like systemizing the display everything. I guess. Okay, so what have we got this time? We've got fully blue something or other. Can I see? Ah, I can indeed see. Okay. Bring that over, click on that. So that's that, okay. And how aliased is it? Much less aliased. Quite a bit smoother. Can I? Uh, I still don't have depth, obviously, as you can see from the way that's working. But you get really close to an edge. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. MSAA is working in VR. Woo! Call me happy. Okay, all uh, right. With XR, the MSIA kind of working. Let's see what we can do about. Let's see if we can clean up. Is there any way to really clean it up? So right now it's kind of using, uh, I mean, you got the extra off-screen render pass, okay. The XR off-screen render. We got this, which is adding the XR swap chain. Got the max support samples, okay. Oh, right, adding depth. Yes, let's do that. Up here we go, and there it is, depth, and uh, that. Uh, depth format. Why is this a problem? Excess elements in. Oh, right. There's two of them, please. Uh, we'll have to deinitialize there. This stuff again. Okay, that's just. Uh, Rolling again. Oh, let's move that view over, shall we? There we go. Okay. Make sure I'm on that. That's uh, where is it? Over there. Okay. Um, it looks like we are not doing depth at all, still. Hmm. Or it's completely reversed. Which is not what I was hoping for at all. Okay, okay. I thought that was going to add depth, but I was totally wrong. Close that up. 
<sighs> Depth stencil attachment. Render pass. XR render pass. Render pass two. Oh no, this is it, right? This this is this will be it right here. No. Yes, yes it would be. It's missing the depth one, which will be like for this one. Yeah, yeah. It's miss it's just missing the depth in the render pass. So never get set. So comma no, yeah, comma that. Okay. Stop that. I don't know. It it, it just never uh, XR just does not uh, exit cleanly yet. So let's do it again. Gamma. Nope, it's still buggered. For sure. That's still not what I was hoping for. Actually, can I just... Okay, if I just leave the headset there, then... What? Hmm. Okay. Let's see, XR off screen render pass. Wonderful, wonderful. We've got two things here. And what I want to do. Is XR render pass even used? One and two. Why is it used? Uh, here it's used for creating of the frame buffer, which I'm not using. Two. Am I missing something? Oh yes, clear. Uh, yes, clear the value. Clear the value. To, it's probably like all sitting at zero or something like that. So equals Can I really squeeze it down? Uh, yes, I can. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. that move back down do that here clear values got a bit of a problem here this should be like what Okay, clear value. Is this what I have to do? Is that and that? Okay. That and that. 
Whoa, that is ugly. That's kind of ugly, yes. D on the end. Okay. It's still wrong, and we got a lot of bunch a bunch of things going wrong here as well. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, we got some big problems. Vulcan spec states all child objects created on the device must have been destroyed prior to. <sighs> Am I missing something here? Probably. Transfer source. When I created the swap images, enumerate create swap chain, okay. XR swap chain usage color attachment bit, and I need to say something like transfer destination bit, okay. Okay, that'll, that'll solve some one thing. I was assigning it to uh, as a transfer destination even though it wasn't set for usage for that. I still have bigger problems to go along with that. Let's move that to the side. We'll see how that looks. No, oh, we still got incorrect depth going on. And we've got a whole bunch of other things. So we're gonna have let's go through it one by one, see exactly where all the pain points are. So acquire next render target. We'll start at the beginning of this. Or rather, yeah, let's just start at the beginning of this. Or start here. See what problems we get.
a number VK create ringer pass final amp must not be depth or read or that or that okay when does this happen is it when I create the the frame buffer here Capturing scene focus. Next. Okay, we got a number of items from that alone. Okay. VK create image value of format does not fall within begin end range at the core enumeration tokens. Is not an extension added token. Interesting. I have a bad format type. Under target. Both of these are real. Stop it. Actually, stop it right there. Let me see if I can. Up here, when I create it, I do that and then let's see if I can do it right here, right now, at this point. So, new render target right there great so view format is what what is the view format What's actually is depth format even specified at this point? May not be. No, it's not. That may explain what I why I'm having so much trouble. It's uh, yeah, completely off, and that's definitely off. Okay. So what I'm going to I'm going to specify it up here. Okay, we're at this point. Attachment reference, create render pass, layout, subpasses, depth stencil is VK image layout, depth attachment optimal, but must not be that, that, that. Okay, what exactly is the depth? Is that, but must not be. Like what kind of attachment um, image layouts does that really leave me? 
realistically. Oh, so is it a real depth format? Yes. Is it a real view dot format? Yes. Okay. Come on, is it not going to fire off or what? Come on. Okay, it looks like we finally have the depth buffer uh, working correctly. So let me just kind of click on that. Yeah. Yep, okay. So that's working fine again, finally. And I have a depth buffer, which is much nicer. Stop running, stop running. Okay, great. this and I got some other little issues to still deal with which are basically these so what's going on what's what's it complaining about right now right the creation of things in the render target when it's a uh, depth stencil or depth only thing. If I can find it, there you are. So it's not this point, right? It's to do with the creation of the Where is it? Where would it be? It's during the creation of the uh render pass, right? That's what's going on here. Okay, I can actually probably turn off XR now. Okay, I've got a problem from somewhere else. That's cool. Okay. You know what, wherever it's coming from, we'll just do this at the start of that. And we are going to turn off. XR support. Okay, we tried to generate with these compatible keys, which is that and that, at where? In the main application, after we created these off-screen spec uh, specifications, 
for the swap chain. Why? So the idea is that four compatible keys and I have the variant keys which say <sighs> final layout of a depth stencil image must not be UK image layout depth attachment optimal VK image layout depth read only optimal or VK depth uh, stencil attachment or stencil read only okay so what do I just set it as shader read only I guess or what what's going on here render pass formats and samples Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. I'm doing this for color images too, aren't I? Okay, run through again. have one Piece. Okay, when I generate the render pass, okay, I'm doing this. I'm creating a render pass with the attachments and that. Okay, if that is depth stencil, is if is depth. I don't get it. Why?
That must be just, I just. <sighs> right to the documentation. VK subpass description. Okay. If P depth stencil attachment is null or its attachment is unused, it indicates no depth stencil will be used in, sh in the subpass. Contents of attachment within the rendering will become undefined at the start of subpass S if all the following conditions are true. Okay. There's nothing about like. Depth stencil attachment. Okay. Okay, there is if P depth stencil attachment is not null and the attachment is not that, then it must have a format whose features contain this VK format feature depth stencil attachment bit. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, previous? No. Similarly, corresponds to depth potential attachment and multi sample resolve operation of the depth of stencil. Mm -hmm. What are we on here? Render pass fragment density. Yeah, this is something else. This will be case of pass description. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Layout is a VK image layout's value specifying the layout of attachment uses during the subpass. Okay. Must not be image layout undefined, pre initialized depth stance, depth attachment, depth read only, stencil attach, layout present. Okay. Then what on earth am I supposed to use for. I can't use it as an attachment for depth or stencil. Then how. Okay. Uh, okay. I am just going to go online and have a little look. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. P depth stencil attachment, which is what I'm doing. Was depth reference attachment number two, and it is this. It's supposed to be this depth stencil attachment. It's supposed to be that. And that. Wait, hold on. Depth attachment stencil attachment. Hold on. Even if it's only depth. Is what? Okay, if it's depth stencil, it can do a depth stencil. If it's only depth, it can all it can also use depth stencil, but it can't use depth only. That's the prop. That's the prop. Why is that such a very weird? Um, Okay. Here's depth format, and we can get rid of this little chunk.
Okay. That cleaned up uh, some more stuff, more errors. Uh, we got to deal with these objects. What, 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 do we, what do we got? What we got? We got a buffer. We got four buffers. Why? Where do these guys come from? I do not know. But they seem to be the only ones we have to deal with right now. So, what are we doing for time? Um, I guess I'll kind of... Okay, I'll just... Subpass. The image layout cannot be just do these things to add XR stuff. Um, Okay, and I'll call it a night right there. So, cheers. <laughs>